Dr. Seuss Friday. It is so exciting, and today is a very special episode. But um, it's like so, a literary barbecue. That's a good word for it. Hello, and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast. I am Spencer Cardia. I'm Chef Boyardee. Chef Boyardee, and this here is Frank. You know what you remind me of? What? <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to save it for the podcast. You remind me of like you uh, are were on good behavior at a prison. <laughs> and oh, so, <laughs> yes, I got to get in the kitchen. You're like you're like prison Mike, but yeah. <laughs> you're like you, you run the kitchen. <laughs> I'll take it. How you guys doing, man? It's it's Friday. It's Friday, June twenty fourth. It um, is not. It is. It is? Yeah. It's wow. okay. Friday, June 24th. Oh, you've, you're you've been locked in the clink for too long. <laughs> you don't even know what day it is. How are you guys doing? Um, no, it's not. It's not June 24th. Okay. <laughs> How are you guys doing? It is July 1st. I thought you were gaslighting me. Yeah, no, I was, I was gaslighting you. All right, guys. As you know, I just got back from camp, and so I'm a little wacky. Right. Or I didn't make it back from camp. Stop it. Um. <laughs> It's a beautiful July 1st. We've officially gotten out of June. Yeah. Um, which is exciting. Mm-hmm. Uh, July is basically summer. When I it is summer, but I'm saying like can't get more summer than maybe August. But even August, I feel like some people go back to school in late yeah, August. Yeah, you're not. Like, you're you know you're correct. July, June, it feels like summer the whole time. Yeah. But people are still in school, mm-hmm. and on top of that, yes. it's technically not summer for 21 days. Right. July is summer the same way January is winter. Right. You know what I mean? And you love January. I keep thinking. I, I, well, I, no longer will I make the mistake of thinking it's January. Only I'll think it's a week yeah, prior. Yeah, I think July is. we're safe from not seeing the um, back to school stuff. I mean, August you will see the, yes. the, yeah. the displays and such. You want to hear a joke? Sure. Um, how do you make a ginger snap? How? You call them carrot top. <laughs> that's good it's national ginger snap day ginger snap day yeah the cookie? i love ginger snaps interesting is that interesting yeah well you know i don't like sweets but ginger snaps they got a little spice a little crunch i like it when they're like a little stale and so like it's a crunch but then it's a little bit of a chew. what do you mean do i think that's interesting have you ever met a fellow ginger snap lover um in the old folks homes <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. I like. Well, I, I'm just saying. Don't don't be mad at me for pointing uh, out the hey, obvious. I'm not. I'm not mad. Um, you want to hear another joke? I do. Um, I like my. I don't know if this is a joke. I like my my saviors. Like I like my chicken wings, tender and mild. Oh, like the baby Jesus. Yeah. Okay. Did you make uh, that one up? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's National Chicken Wing Day. Oh, really? My other fa- I, I was looking at the holidays for July first, and um. I'm like, ginger snaps and chicken wings? I could live off that. Ew, together? Uh, ginger snaps would be a nice little dessert after really? I have my, my chicken wings. Actually, I don't know. Ginger snaps aren't really like a dessert-y thing. Mm. I, I think of it more as like a snack. Like I'll sneak one if I'm like, Oh, I thought it was like a breakfast, something with your coffee. My Yeah, that's good. I like that. <laughs> um, yeah, chicken wings. Do you like chicken wings? I used to, yeah. Before the prices skyrocketed? <laughs> no, Same. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Chicken wing prices got hit hard in this inflation. Did they? Yeah. You mean in chicken. a restaurant or in a well, supermarket or both? Everywhere. Mm. Well, because chicken wings have notoriously been expensive and fluctuating, like even without inflation really? on a lot of menus. Like, like in a restaurant, it'll say market price? Yeah. No, you're yeah. lying. I yeah. was making a joke. In the local cheesesteak place. Like it's lobster. Every price is on the menu besides the wings. Get out of here. Prices might vary. You're kidding. No. Well, I guess you only get two wings per chicken. You get four. You'll get two drums and two flats. They're, that they're just wings. What? They're just wings. Yeah, but like when you think of like wings, you think of them separated. Oh. So okay. you'd get four per chicken, which is still not that much. It's still not that much. No, compared to like the breast. It just sounds crazy when you said there's four wings on a chicken. No, well, there's because there, we we use word, word wings. Yeah. For in for yeah, half. Yeah, a wings. full wing is very big. Actually. Are you uh back when you ate wings? Were you a flat or a drum person? Whatever, it didn't matter. Probably I'll say flats be only because I like them very dried out. Yeah. And it, you get a better chance of doing that on the on the less meat piece. I agree. I'm, I'm a big flat fan. Um, yeah. Buffalo wings. Mm, so good. 
Um, you might be wondering why I made jokes about my favorite snacks. Little funny jokes. I did. It's National Make a Joke Day. Is it really? Yeah. You've really covered all your bases today. Uh, in one foul swoop. Look at you in, in July. Yeah, do you have any jokes? I have one, but you're not going to get it because you have to be from the UK. I, I can try to imagine. Okay, what do you call a bunch of Barbies in a line? What? A barbecue. A barbecue. Well, that's Australian. The English part is the fact. Hey, governor. No. Barbecue. No. I don't think English have barbecues. No, it's, it's too, too rainy. It's too rainy. The, the water, the w- water. The weather's very unpredictable there. Yeah. It, it's nice one day and the next day. So if I don't know how you plan in advance. And I don't think they have the same kind of like um, living setup. Like I feel like America mm. is made for barbecues where yeah. it's like you have a lot of backyards we have that, like, bigger backyards they bigger. have those little rectangles yeah but do you know what a queue is a q-u-e q oh a it's like when you wait in a line when you wait in a line okay we so can't tell the joke again what do you call a bunch of barbies in a line a barbecue now yeah. i see why yeah why it's an english thing got it um even though i'm italian chef boy rd yeah yeah that was a real person was it i don't know i think it was i think it was you I just think... made me second guess it no i said because I was picturing, uh, yeah, I think the name was phonetic. Well, no, isn't I it? I think I was him before. I have to make a list. You've definitely been him before. All right, I'll be Marie Callender. Okay. How about Amy's? You want to be Amy? <gasps> I should have been Amy. No, it's not too late. Yeah, but she's around still. She might be like, you're not Amy. Stop it. Oh, uh, you need like identity oh, theft is no joke. And I don't want to be Marie Callender. So I'm going to go back to Chef Boyardee. You can be Mrs. Stouffer. Trust the Stouffer's fisherman. No, that's not it. Yikes. Well, you are just messing up. The That's bit. Morton. Morton. Oh, you know what? I was trying to think. We had a podcast and I'm, something we brought up about fishermen. Oh, bucket hats. Okay. And I was trying, I was like describing, I'm like, that fishermen on the prepackage, you should have <laughs> seen me Googling. I'm like, um, fishermen, salmon, right. pre cooked. Right. And I don't even know if I ever found it. But I think you did. did. I think I? you did. I think you did. Uh, I'm pretty sure you did. And he, he was not wearing a bucket hat, he was wearing the kind that dips in the back. Yeah, to keep the waist that's out like, of your yeah, jacket. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. okay. Um, what else? It's, it's, we're about to go into the weekend. Um, we won't see you again until next Wednesday, so um, we will talk about it more on Wednesday. But it's Fourth of July weekend, so Fourth of July falls on Monday, and so this is Fourth of July weekend. Yeah, <gasps> I have so much to do. <laughs> <laughs> Got to get your fireworks. Oh, I have to so start making my meatballs. It's Fourth of July weekend. Um, yeah, it falls on a Monday, so it's a long weekend. And it's exciting. Um, do you like Fourth of July? I do. Talk about barbecue. Bar- barbecues. 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 Um, one day, I, 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 someone's going to have me a real traditional, gluten-free, <clears throat> vegetarian barbecue. Do you? So you're not a fan of like a gluten-free vegetarian option? You want it to be an entire gluten-free yeah, vegetarian yeah, barbecue? Yeah, I don't want to be over in the corner, in the card table, and then okay. you just say... Oh, we got something. We got some. Can people get like a real burger? Like just one person at the party, but like they get shamed for it no. the same way a veggie burger. <laughs> yeah, is yeah, yeah. Make a big deal yeah. about Do you it. Have any, uh, meat patties, and it's like, oh, diet or <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you um... have those. What's the opposite of restrictions? <laughs> allowances. Oh, uh, you have diet allowances. Oh my god, that's mm. funny. <laughs> that's funny. That's a skit. If only Portlandia was still on. Oh man, Portlandia. But uh, yeah, so it's going to be 4th of July weekend. I'm excited. I love 4th of July. Man, I love it. I just love July. I but love, we're not there yet. I love America. So it's their birthday. I thought you were Italian. It's their birthday party. Once I take the apron off, I'm back to being Oh, American. wait, no, you're not Boyardee anymore. You're Marie Callender. Guys, no, I don't want to be her. Why? What's with you? What do you have against Marie? Um, I just, I'm just, I just, I'm not into that right now. You know what I mean? She's, she, isn't she kind of super American? Yeah. You want to be a little more... I just miss canned raviolis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love canned raviolis. I know. All right, guys. It is Friday. Um, every Friday we do something special. You already knew this, but we're, we're going to tell you anyway. Dr. Seuss Friday. I love it. Dr. Seuss Friday. It is so exciting. And today is a very special episode. But um, It's like so, a literary barbecue. That's a good word for it. Or a good couple words for it. So on Dr. Seuss Friday, we essentially just read a Dr. Seuss book. Yeah. Um, we read a Dr. Seuss book and we chit chat about it. And it's not as childish as you may think because um, Dr. Seuss was a very smart man. Yes. The smartest. Great writer. And he captivated 
children and adults alike for decades. Yes. And one of the reasons we believe is inside of the wacky characters and the fun rhymes are a meaning. It is this like sort of a, a message of a meaning of, for kids to learn about how to be a good person, how to not be taken advantage of, how to love yourself. Right. So last week we did um last week we did Maisie and the Daisy. Oh Ma- no, Maisie Daisy Head. Yeah, well, I was close enough. You know, I was just summarizing. <laughs> but um, so I was like reading the back, and the one we read was a new illustration. The original illustration, um, the main person talking, like there was a person describing what was going on. Okay, it was just a man. Was Cat in the Hat? You're kidding. No, but wait. I'm like, why did they change it? We looked at pictures that that the guy didn't draw. How is that? How is that allowed? I think there's something to it. Hold on. Because it looked it looked traditional. No, so I looked it That's up. That's the Lorax. I've, oh my gosh, <laughs> the Lorax. Where's Maisie had a Daisy? I don't know. Maisie, oh, I see it. Maisie had. <laughs> Go in the playlist to see what we're talking about. That I'm was pretty sure there's controversy because I think this came out really late. Like Doctor Seuss might have already been dead. No, you're kidding. And I think it was plagiarized by his wife. Does he have a wife? He. Did have a wife. Well, I think I might just be lying and just be <laughs> talking ill I on know. his name. Um, so interesting. Yeah, see, May- Daisy had Maisie, and it is the Cat in the Hat. And top is a, is a 1995 edition. Bottom is a 2016 edition. 2016. Oh yeah, an earlier edition of Daisy had Maisie was published by Random House in 1995 and remained in print until early 2016. If you compare the illustrations of the two books, you'll see a big difference. If you compare the words in the two books, you'll also see a difference. Not as big, but a difference. How can this be? To explain, let's look at Maisie's roots. Oh, wow. Um, Wrote an animated film. So, Dr. Seuss in 1950s wrote an animated film. Um, He worked on many while serving in the army. Uh, Ted Wright. Come on, let's get I'm wondering if this is why it said good. What did it say? Good oh, or instead good, of heavens uh, to bed, good, goodness, goodness, Betsy. goodness. No, no, it was the opposite. Heavens to goodness. Heavens to goodness. Heavens to goodness. I wonder if I wonder if I found something before I knew something. After so he died on September twenty fourth, nineteen ninety one. Rest in peace, Doctor Seuss. Um, sometime later, while cleaning his studio, Ted's wife Audrey found Maisie, but did she or did she plagiarize? So, because I was wondering, so that book came out in ninety five. S- since it was written prior to her marriage to Ted, it's quite possible that she'd never seen it before. Uh, the long time his longtime agent took the sketches to Hanna Barbera Productions. You're kidding. Um, and brought it to life on 1995. The animated special Daisy had made it aired on television. It was a hit. Um, then a picture book featuring That's illustrations crazy. based on the animation was published by Random House. Everyone liking it. That's crazy. Huh. Yeah, who would have thought? Oh, so it was another lost book. We we've had a couple lost books yeah. that we have unearthed. Well, I want to see. I don't know if I'll be able to find it in time, but maybe I'll have to look it up later. But what happened in 26, 2016 that made them redo it? I don't know. Very multi layered mystery. All right. Yeah, it is a multi layered mystery. Dr. Seuss. But let me not get sidetracked because we're not reading that today. But we are reading something very special. That is not as mysterious. It's not as mysterious. <laughs> and you've all heard it before. You're probably wondering you've done 28. Dr. Seuss Fridays. Right. How have you never done this book? We well, today right? that all changes because we're doing the cat in the hat. I saved it for July 2022. Cat in the hat. How about that? Man, I don't even remember this book. Like, I could tell you generally what happens, right? The cat shows up to the house. Yeah, thing one, thing, thing, one, thing, two. thing two. They make a mess and they clean up. Yeah, that, I think you do remember it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. I'm not going to, you know, dilly dally anymore. Let's just get into it get on those treadmills the cat. I, pi- I picture people listening to us on the treadmill oh i feel like last time you pictured them doing something else they were in the car oh, okay. <laughs> the cat in the hat by dr seuss the sun did not shine it was too wet to play so we sat in the house all that cold cold wet day i sat there with sally we sat there we too and i said how i wish we had something to do too wet to go out and too cold to play ball so we sat in the house we did nothing at all so all we could do was to sit 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 and we did not like it not one little bit and then something went bump how that bump made us jump we looked then we saw him step in on the mat we looked and we saw him the cat in the hat 
And he said to us, Why do you sit there like that? I know it's wet and the sun is not sunny, but we can have lots of good fun that is funny. I know some good games we could play, said the cat. I know some new tricks, said the cat in the hat. A lot of good tricks I will show them to you. Your mother will not mind at all if I do. Then Sally and I did not know what to say. Our mother was out of the house for the day. But our fish said, no, no, make that cat go away. Tell that cat in the hat you do not want to play. He should not be here. He should not be about. He should not be here when your mother is out. Now, now, have no fear, have no fear, said the cat. My tricks are not bad, said the cat in the hat. Why, we can have lots of fun if you wish with a game that I call up, up, up with a fish. Put me down, said the fish. This is no fun at all. Put me down, said the fish. I do not wish to fall. Have no fear, said the cat. I will not let you fall. I will hold you up high as I stand on a ball with a book on one hand and a cup on my hat. But that's not all I can do, said the cat. Look at me, look at me now, said the cat, with a cup and a cake on the top of my hat. I can hold up two books, I can hold up the fish, I can, and a little toy ship, and some milk on a dish. And look, I can hop up and down on the ball, but that is not all, oh no, that is not all. Look at me, look at me, look at me now. It is fun to have fun, but you have to know how. I can hold up the cup and the milk and the cake, I can hold up these books and the fish on a rake. I can hold the toy ship and a little toy man, and look, with my tail, I can hold a red fan. I can fan with the fan as I hop on the ball, but that is not all. Oh no, that is not all. That is what the cat said, then he fell on his head. He came down with a bump from up there on the ball, and Sally and I, we saw all the things fall. And our fish came down too, he fell into a pot. He said, do I like this? Oh no, I do not. This is not a good game, said our fish as he lit. No, I do not like it, not one little bit. Now look what you did, said the fish to the cat. Now look at this house, look at this, look at that. You sank our toy ship, sank it deep in the cake. You shook up our house and you bent our new rake. You should not be here when our mother is not. You get out of this house, said the fish in the pot. But I like it to be here. Oh, I like it a lot, said the cat in the hat to the fish in the pot. I will not go away, I do not wish to go. And so, said the cat in the hat, so, so, so. I will show you another good game that I know. And then he ran out, and then fast as a fox, the cat in the hat came back with a box. A big red wood box, it was shut with a hook. Now look at this trick, said the cat, take a look. Then he got up on top, then he got up on top with the tip of his hat. I call this game fun in a box, said the cat. In this game are two things I will show to you now. You will like these two things, said the cat with a bow. I will pick up the hook, you will see something new, two things and I will call them, thing one and thing two. These things will not bite you, they want to have fun. Then out of the box came thing two and thing one. And they ran up to us fast, they said, how do you do? Would you like to shake hands with thing one and thing two? And Sally and I did not know what to do, so we had to shake hands with thing one and thing two. We shook their two hands, but our fish said, no, no, those things should not be in this house, make them go. They should not be here when your mother is not. Put them out, put them out, said the fish in a pot. Have no fear, little fish, said the cat in the hat. These things are good things, and he gave them a pat. They are tame, oh so tame, they have come here to play. They will give you some fun on this wet, wet, wet day. Now here is a game that they like, said the cat. They like to fly kites, said the cat in the hat. No, not in the house, said the fish in the pot. They should not fly kites in a house, they should not. Oh, the things they will bump, oh, the things they will hit. Oh, I do not like it, not one little bit. Then Sally and I saw them run down the hall. We saw those two things bump their kites on the wall. Bump, thump, thump, bump, down the wall in the hall. Thing one and thing two, they ran up, they ran down. On a, the string of one kite, we saw mother's new gown. Her gown with the dots that are pink, white, and red. Then we saw one kite bump on the head of her bed. Then those things ran about with big bumps, jumps, and kicks. And with hops and big thumps and all kinds of bad tricks. And I said, I do not like the way that they play. If mother could see this, oh, what would she say? Then our fish said, look, look, and, your f and our fish shook with fear. Your mother is on her way home, do you hear? Oh, what will she do to us? What will she say? Oh, she will not like it to find us this way. So do something fast, said the fish, do you hear? I saw her, your mother, your mother is near. So as fast as you can, think of something to do. 
you will have to get rid of thing one and thing two. So as fast as I could, I went after my net and I said with my net, I can get them, I bet. I bet with my net, I can get those things yet. Then I let down my net, it came down with a flop and I had them at last, the, those two things had to stop. Then I said to the cat, now you do as I say, you pack up those things and you take them away. Oh dear, said the cat, you did not like our game. Oh dear, what a shame, what a shame, what a shame. Then he shut up the things in the box with a hook and the cat went away with a sad kind of look. This is good, said the fish, he has gone away. Yes, but your mother will come, she will find this big mess. And this mess, and this mess is so big and so deep and so tall, we cannot pick it up, there is no way at all. And then, who was back in the house? Why, the cat. Have no fears of this mess, said the cat in the hat. I can always pick up all my playthings and so I will show you another good trick that I know. Then we saw him pick up all the things that were down. He picked up the cake and the rake and the gown and the milk and the strings and the book and the dish and the fan and the cup and the ship and the fish. And he put them away. Then he said, that is that. And then he was gone with the tip of his hat. Then our mother came in and she said to us too, did you have any fun? Tell me, what did you do? And Sally and I did not know what to say. Should we tell her the things that went on there that day? Should we tell her about it? Now, what should we do? Well, what would you do if your mother asked you? The cat in the hat. <clears throat> what do you think? I liked it. Did you? Did you get anything from it? I, I got remembrance of all the books. I, I remember that one. <laughs> I'm serious. I mean, not after you read it. I meant re uh, a, a recognition, you know, a familiarity. Yeah, a little nostalgia. Um, there's a show, right? There was a movie. I think there's a couple of movies yeah. cartoons yeah. and cartoons and stuff like that. Um, and um, I'm wondering when you were reading it too, you know, all the people who do the thing you want and thing two for Halloween. I wonder if, yeah. they, even, I wonder if they even ever read the book. <laughs> um, I liked it. And all right, so I just thought to myself, you know, could you tell me the first page again when the cat appeared? Were the did the children summon him because they were bored, or he just thought, let me, let me? You think you've gone too far? No, the bump made them jump. So, so they so, were bored on a rainy day. Well, were they? What is it? Where, like, uh, where does it say that? How I wish we had something to do. So they, too wet to go out, too cold to play ball. We sat okay. there in the house. We did nothing at all. Okay. So I, I couldn't remember that very first page. And so I thought to myself, you know, he keeps saying, I'm here to save you. I'm here to save you from the wet, wet day. I'm, I, I, can, I can make fun for you. And then I thought, to, like I said, I couldn't remember. And I thought, wait, did they even need saving? Because you know how sometimes people... People think you're sadder than you are or whatever. You know, yeah. it's like, oh, we can do, so, you know, they try to distract you. They try to involve you. They try to, and you're like, I was good. But but now that you've read me that first page, were they not good? No. Were they, were so they looking for... This is what I think. Okay. I think you can spin it to something with like a uh, an idle mind. You know? Okay. Yeah, you're right. Um, which, for sure. Wait, is it an idle mind or is it, is yeah, it that idle playground? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. I think it, it's sort of that where, okay. you know, empty space is still a place. That's you know even better. And yeah. um, so then the cat comes in and fills it. Oh, there's something. I'll give you something to do, and causes Bro mayhem. So much commotion. Yeah. They're like, and I kind of saw the fish as like so we had a conscience podcast. Yes. That's sort of the conscience that's always there, saying like I shouldn't do that. I shouldn't do that. Um, this but isn't making me happy at sometimes, all. Sometimes you know you 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 lose control of it. Yeah. And that's why I like though, that he was so okay with, um, leaving. He was sad about it, but you know, it's like they said, go away cat. And he just, it, it's not like they couldn't get rid of him. Oh, so like your own, your own self control. Your yeah. Own like, control. or just like, yeah. Letting your, your, your thoughts and your earthly, yeah. Like, you know, temptations and, and all that, like get a hold of, of you. And then it's like, you, the same way that they, they, like they were bored and he came in, it right. was like, as long as they do sit idly by, your brain and your actions will be filled with things. Right. But you need to say no. Yeah, I was thinking that when um when the cat did such a good job cleaning up. Yeah. And and it's like oh like he was proud you know oh I always clean up the messes I make and and uh, but I'm thinking yeah but like as you should you're the yeah. one that made the mess you're yeah. the one that you know made everything so um dangerous yeah 
And now you're saying, look, I cleaned up. Well, you should have never messed up. Yeah. No, definitely. Yeah, but I, I definitely think that it could be seen as that. Because yeah, I could see that because the whole thing could have been avoided if if they hadn't framed it as this, yeah, this day's bad. They wanted so much for a thing to do and it's like, oh, I'm so bored. And it's like, well, you're not bored now. Now right. it's chaos. Right. And um, yeah, maybe there's a, also a certain aspect of... Um, peace and patience we talked we used to talk about patience a we lot we did but um you even made a like you made like a vow that every single no, pod- balance oh. <laughs> yeah, the yin yang you, um, you vow that every single <laughs> podcast you'd say balance yeah um he did balance all the stuff on his that's true his that's true yeah i did say balance that <laughs> um yeah so there's like a certain like uh it's, it's yeah it's, it's okay to be peaceful yeah. and not have anything to do like i think sometimes we think no, that, that's for sure we always need something and then it's like then you get chaos you know because it's like you have too much on your right. plate and sometimes it's good i mean hey god made a whole day dedicated to rest you know it's, it's really true if the, you've picked out that little gem from the book because i was talking to someone recently and they were talking about running away from grief actually to be very specific but you could be running away from anything and it was filling the time, mm. you know, so you don't think about it. You yeah. Know, and like, just keep yourself busy. And that's kind of an old timey um, yeah. suggestion. And this person was saying, there will come a time where you will you not be able yeah. to go for the run or you will, you know, and, and it's, so. It's better you do it constructively. Yeah. Than it all to come out at once and then you not be able to handle it. Yeah, to it. learn how to sit and look out the window at the rainy day. Yeah. Um. So I guess the final question would be the last page last page was the last page was the mom shows up and and sally and i did not know what to say should we tell her the things that went on there that day should we tell her about it now what should we do well dot 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 what would you do if your mother asked you oh that's how it ended yeah oh dr seuss so it leaves us with the questions (laughs) asking little children yeah you know um well truthfully i would not <laughs> if you're asking me <laughs> chef boyardee yeah i am the type of person that says um things are better left unsaid yeah. i don't i do not promote that for other people but i'm just saying if i you know how about yourself yeah um well me so you know using these spiritual analogies and yeah. stuff i'm going to use them if the fish is a conscience and you know the house is is your your brain and your life oh if it's all you yeah the whole thing is you. it's all it's all revolving around here i'm going to say the mother i'm gonna say he's god how about that okay okay all so, right i think on earth a lot of times we have this chaos and this internal conflict mm-hmm. that we're trying to figure it out and then it's like you're not going to god for assistance and so i would tell the mother you're right because the mother could be like all you had to do was call me yes you know like you're, you're relying so much on right figuring out yourself you two are kids your guys are kids yeah you're right and and this was all going on don't cover it up don't dust it under the rug and then oh we had a great day no talk to me and i can help you you're absolutely right and again with the peace the power of patience is peace power of patience is peace (laughs) um you know i have been in the situation in, in in real life situations where um you know, I had a party and parents weren't home and I did cl- the cat in the hat <laughs> cleaned everything <laughs> before they came back. But um, you have a long time, if not a lifetime of wondering if you'll ever be revealed. Yes. You know? Yeah. And just think of any show, you know, Ferris Bueller's Day Off or something, you know, and then, you know, they look like, why was that crooked? Yeah. Or like, yeah. why was this in the bathtub? You know? And so you, you actually... Um, just like don't be afraid of the rainy day. Don't be afraid of the gray day where yeah. I have nothing to do. Don't be afraid to tell the truth because yeah. because you're giving yourself a longer lasting. Like yes. I told you that. Yeah. I told you we made a bad choice that day. And and yeah, I, I think we you don't always need to think that you need to handle something on your own. You're right. That's a Ask good for thing assistance. to find. That was a good thing to find. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that has been Dr. Seuss Friday. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, Cat in the Hat. A classic. Finally, Cat in the Hat. Classic. It's put it in the... El Gato in El Hato, I believe has, is how you say that in Spanish. I'm not sure it is. 
We'll be back to no. We'll be back next Wednesday. Have a great weekend. Have a good Fourth of July, and we will see you after you're done celebrating. Peace. Oh, oh, oh.